Hey guys, it's Mandy V, and today I am going to tell you guys all about the haunted hotel that we are going to be going to once again, part three of the Dream Team, the Ghost Squad Adventures with Brittany44, Jonathan Crab. Jesse V, Mandy V, and my boyfriend Luca, and sometimes Ty. <laughs> Dream Team, we're back at it again. First things first, this video is sponsored by the app Fetch Feed. It is a wonderful app, especially for people like me who really like to be organized and really like to be stress free. And the best thing about this app is that it's all in one. So anything you want to know about the news, anything you want to know that's going on on Reddit, anything on BuzzFeed, it's customized to you as an individual. So you can choose what you personally would like to see and when it comes to news, when it comes to fashion, when it comes to music, when it comes to just funny gifts, there will be no more information overload. You can choose specifically which ones you'd like to get notified from. If you don't like notifications, you don't have to have it. And if you want notifications for specific things, you can set it up that way. So it's literally customed just for you. You can do whatever you want with it and it's great. I love it so much. It's a really, 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 really cool app. So download it. <laughs> so I know, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the last two haunted hotels that we have gone to have been completely different from each other. And we like kind of like spicing it up a bit, making it a little bit different every time. Um, so all of these haunted houses that we've been going to have been very different from each other. So you're not watching the same old stuff, but when it comes to ghosts, you guys, you're never gonna get the same stuff. It's always gonna be different. It's always gonna be fun and interesting. <laughs> Ah, bless me. This specific hotel has a very, very, very genuinely nice and kind vibe to it. It is very fancy. It's very old, but it's been renovated many times. It's actually a spa. People go there for their weddings. It's very fancy and it's very expensive, but there's a lot of history behind it. And there's a lot of things that go on there just because of its past. It's been on many Ghost Hunter TV shows and it's very well known within the Mississauga region of being haunted, known to be haunted. So looking upon their website and doing my research, I just kind of um, took all the information that I could that I thought would be interesting and I'm gonna read it out to you. So the inn was built between 1927 and finished in the 1930s and was a grand summer home for the wealthy Watson family living in Rosedale. The summer home nestled in the beautiful Sawmill Creek Valley in Mississauga was built for entertaining, but shortly after completed, Watson passed away and was buried very close by. So he literally died before he even got to see what it looked like when it was finished and when it was all beautiful. Over the next 70 years, the property would change hands several times being used for a variety of things, including a monastery, a retreat, and a sales office. So this specific place, was home to lots of different kinds of people. And it seemed like because it was a retreat and um, a monastery that it would be a very peaceful um, place to be. However, you know, a lot of like sad, broken souls would go to these things to these kinds of places and maybe they just weren't very happy, like happy hearted happy hearted souls, you know what I mean? Like there was a lot of suffering going on in those days, um, but it definitely feels like a place of positivity. Over those years, there have been many reports of ghost sightings, the most common one of a man tending the fireplace in the Great Hall. A clairvoyant visited the property in 1990 and noticed that there was a spirit present. Since, that, since then, the Glen 
The Glen Aaron Inn has been visited by many ghost hunters, including the show Ghosts of Mississauga. Recently, guests have and staff have reported seeing a shadow tending the fire or sweeping up the leftover ashes. It doesn't end there. When the current owners renovated the grounds, the staff discovered an underground tunnel, which, guys, is so creepy. Honestly, underground tunnels stress me out so much. I'm like, like, why do you need underground tunnels? Like, there's nothing more creepy than an underground tunnel. Like, imagine being in an underground tunnel by yourself at night at 3 in the morning, dark, in the dark. No, thank you. Except that's exactly what we're probably going to end up doing, but at least we're together, right? Right? So they discovered that there was an underground tunnel. When construction halted during the night, staff regularly heard phantom footsteps in that tunnel. So hopefully we can find that tunnel and get in that tunnel and do a little Spierbach session. Employees spending the night at the end said he felt a woman's hairbrush against his face and that he was being tucked in by an unseen hand. He didn't sleep well that night. No kidding, are you serious? This man felt a woman's hairbrush against him and he was getting tucked in. The thing about it is that obviously it's like sweet. It's a very sweet, kind presence, which I like, but at the same time, it's like, I don't want to be touched. And uh, other things that I read as well, and that I watched on one of the shows that I watched of them going, they actually captured a few things. They captured a woman's voice in a EVP session. They captured a woman's voice, like kind of whimpering. And then in another one, they heard whispers coming from an EVP, um, which is really interesting. And apparently somebody saw a nun there, like a nun apparition, which is so creepy because like think about, all I can think about is the conjuring when I hear something like that. But yeah, so that's very nerve wracking, but I'm so excited you guys and it's gonna be a really nice place and we're just gonna see how it all goes and hopefully we capture some really awesome stuff. So if you like this video and you like me, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell because I do make videos every single week and I want you guys to see what's coming up next and that is Ghost Hunter series, okay, at Glen Aaron Inn. And uh, don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And if you're excited to see our ghost hunting, yeah, don't forget to download Fetch Feed. It'll save your life. <laughs> if you have a stressful life, it'll save you, <laughs> okay? I love you guys so much. Bye.